Hey YouTube, today I have uh, something exciting to share with you. Um, how to send your customers paying with Square to your uh, online review page so they could leave you just with one click, they could go into Google Reviews or where are the Google Reviews? Yeah, Google Reviews or um, Yelp Reviews and just it would make it easy for them to to just uh, write a review right from their phone. So when when paying with Square, Square has already built in their own review thingy, but it actually um, it doesn't really go anywhere but their website, and nobody's reading reviews on Square website. So what I figured out how to put in my own link on the receipt. Uh, where's our receipt? Over here. And so you would have one, you can have one link actually on the very top uh, that takes you to the place um, of your choice like Yelp or Google. And then you can also have uh, another link here. Um, if they scroll down, you can actually make the website click also not to your website but to your Yelp thing. And then they actually you can put clickable links into a return policy area and also into the uh, notes area. So here's how you do it. Um, you're gonna need a Google uh, link shortener or URL shortener to because usually what you have on your on your page on your um, Google Places page is this long long link and you're not going to put that on your receipt. This will look like four lines of text. And then also same thing with Yelp too. Like you have this long um, URL that will look awkward on the link. So you just you just find the, your customer's uh, page that you're helping them or it's your page. Just copy it. Go to um, Google URL shortener and paste it in, click shorten, now you have this, uh, what is it like, almost 10 letter link that will take you to the same place that, um, instead of that long URL. Then you log into your um, Square account and you go to, uh, where do we go, you go to settings. I apologize for this phone, uh, I mean, uh, camera recording because I didn't have time to find the screen casting thing, so I just want to make this quick video. So you go to settings, then you go to your business locations, and in, in the location area, actually on the very top, you can put, of course, you can put just the, just your business name or you can actually just put your business name because this will show the first thing that will show on their email when they email the receipt they will show the business name so you want to have a business name instead of like leave, leave review uh, and then after that you can write uh, maybe a little note how was service or how was your experience leave a review and you you post this little um, this link that you just got from uh, shortened uh, shortened URL and you post the link here and it's actual it's not here on on square portal it's not clickable but what what makes it good your email um, client your phone or your you know your online email it will make this link clickable because it recognizes that that's like um, a legit URL so when you look on the it will look like this when you look on when they look on actually on the receipt there it's a clickable link and then uh, yeah so you you put your instead of just name you can put uh, a little note your business name and that link that you created um, then you can also put the same link um, in the website area or you can just put the profile link for your for your page um, 
then uh, save changes. Then also, if we go to receipts, uh, where's the receipts? Okay, right here. So we go settings again, then you go business, and then you go receipt. And in the receipt area, you see that um, same thing that it picks up from the business name that you did over there. You can put a logo, um, then item description. The item description is actually this field, what you actually put in when you're um, charging the customer. And there's a, on your, on your app, when you're charging a customer, there's a note. Uh, do it. Here we go. And in this note, you can, if you put a link here, it's, just, it's actually very uh, time consuming, unless you have it like saved and posted. Uh, sorry, my, it's hard to see it through camera. So if, if you have a link copied and you post it, this will also become a clickable link, but you just put a note, whatever year we put like a uh, towing. This is the, this is the description. And then in, um, so show item description on the portal. And then you can also, and this is website. Now this is a custom text. Um, are you happy with the service and, and you can, you just post your link again. And this actually goes, uh, where is it? Are you happy with your service on the very bottom of your, of your receipt? And, and the link is actually clickable. And same thing is actually on, on the phone too. You see it becomes clickable link on top. Then another clickable link. The website, this uh, little globe thing, it's also actually clickable. It takes you to your Yelp. Uh, yeah. Or it takes you whatever you put the link to. And then you, they can start leaving a uh, review here. Then also, you can see the link becomes clickable if you put in, in uh, over here in settings, where you have a return policy. You can also write down whatever you want instead of uh, 30 days, you can write uh, another, another call to action to leave them the review and uh, and put the link so there's like five total like one two three four five areas on the receipt that actually Hello. can become um, clickable and take your customer to one of your places where you want them to leave the review and this will hopefully help you get uh, get more earn more reviews more stars because I notice there are people who actually leave these reviews, but they, it's not really helpful. It just, um, it just puts uh, stores review on square site and it's no, it's nowhere, it's not visible anywhere else. Um, so I hope this was clear. I don't know if I did a good job explaining it, but it's actually a cool way to have your customer easy way to leave a review after they paid uh, with credit card on Square. But another note, these links are do not work if you put, um, if you send a receipt into the, as a text message. None of these links become clickable. So it's always better, you know, ask them, hey, um, would you like your receipt emailed? And just email the receipt instead of uh, choosing a text because in text message, you can see the links, but you cannot click them and the phone does not recognize that this is a clickable link. And so it's only in email, your email app shows that, hey, you wanna click it and, and go where it's taking you to leave a review. Um, so yeah, that this is what I find out. So hopefully this will help you and, 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 and work. Thank you.